Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get started with Angular. Um, we're going to go through this little guide right here, this quick start guide, and you'll get your environment all set up and your first app up and running. And the first thing you got to do if you want to use Angular, <coughs> um, uh, make sure you have npm installed, by the way. If you don't have npm installed, um, you can just Google npm install than whatever your operating system is and follow that guide. Um, but this just assumes that you have npm. So we'll copy this first command, npm install dash g angular cli. So this will install the angular cli, which is just a bunch of uh, command line tools that will help you make project, like set up a new project or generate components automatically. It's really nice. Uh, it helps, it really speeds up development. Um, so I'll just run this and we'll wait for it to finish. Great, so it's all done now. So let's go back to the tutorial. <coughs> and the next command, this is what I was talking about earlier, it, it can actually generate a project for you. So when I type ng space new space my app, um, It'll actually generate a project for me, which is super nice because in Angular JS you had to um, manually create the files or download a uh, Git repository full of the basic files, but this way is a lot easier. All right, so it's created our project, my app. So I'm just going to open that folder in VS Code. And I'm going to drag up from the bottom here to get my terminal back. And as you can see, all of these files have been generated by uh, the ng client. Um, ng just stands for ang Angular, by the way. And uh, so the most important folders here are going to be in the source and then the app. So these are where all your main files will go. Um, but let's get to the fun part, which is uh, actually serving the app. So we'll copy this, ng space serve. And make sure you're actually in the directory of your project. I am because I opened the project and the terminal defaults to whatever project you're in. So it's my app. So I'm going to paste in ng space serve. And you can see that uh, it says a live development server is listening on localhost port 5432. So it's live because any changes we make to the code, uh, they'll automatically refresh the page. So I'll show you what I mean. So if we go back to Chrome, open a new tab and go to localhost 5432. And you can see that the app is here, it's up and running. This is the code that's in our project. I'm going to open the developer tools. Alright, so the next step in our tutorial is to uh, make some changes. So we're going to go and change the title to be my first Angular app. So back in the VS Code, all we do is we open this uh, source slash app slash app dot component dot html um, and then here you can see that at the very top it says welcome to title um, and that's an h1 so that is um, this code right or this right here this top header so back in VS code if we go to the dot ts file um, you can see that the variable title is app um, and we can change that to whatever we want. We can change it to my great app. And then if we go back to Chrome, it'll automatically refresh the page and you can see our changes are right there, my great app. So you can see how this is very fast development. 
auto refresh, auto generated files, it's great. Alright, and that's the basics of Angular 5. Uh, to learn more about Angular 5, I'd suggest either flipping through this documentation, uh, maybe following one of these tutorials, um, and then really the best way i found is just to try and make your own project in Angular 5. Uh, and you'll learn things as you, like as you have goals to do things, you'll learn what you need to do in order to accomplish that goal. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this tutorial. Um, subscribe for more tutorials like this, and I'll see you guys next time.